Hello Sagittarius, thank you for joining me. This is going to be your new moon reading for November 26th. We're looking at like Thanksgiving weekend if you're uh, in the U.S. or celebrating abroad. Um, let's take a look and see what our new moon energy. If you're new here, sorry, I'm just going to like skip all forward. If you're new, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Melissa and I do zodiac readings for the new moon and the full moon. Um, so the new moon energy, which is what we're looking at in this reading, is about the beginning of the cycle. It's where we said goodbye to the last cycle. So some things that were released in the last cycle may come up. Um, but we're looking at what intentions we're putting out there to start this cycle off. And then in a couple of weeks, when we're around the full moon time, we will look at what kind of bloomed or blossomed or is ripe for the picking of the seeds that we planted of intention for the new moon. So ooh, we already have our first card. So let's take a look. Um, and happy birthday, by the way. Your birthday's, it's your birthday season. So happy birthday, Sagittarius. All right. What is the new moon energy for Sagittarius? I think somebody just got home. Hopefully they don't come busting in here because that happens. Okay, that one. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. Okay. I feel like we're walking away from something. This could be um, residual energy from the last cycle, but we are definitely walking away from something that we've invested some emotions into. Something that we were kind of um, maybe emotionally tied to that we're kind of walking away from there. Uh, we also had the Queen of Wands. So again, I feel like it's kind of you walking away from something, but into your own power. Um, the Queen of Wands is somebody who is very passionate and, um, you know, can can kind of get a little bit fired up sometimes, but it's it's all coming from, you know, just being super passionate about stuff. So I feel like you're kind of leaving the situation heading towards something that you're more creative, um, could be a creative endeavor. Maybe you're, you're leaving a job that you've been kind of, you felt tied to emotionally, um, and moving into something that's more creative and more something that you're passionate about or that you feel is more in line with your spirituality or possibly. Um, but it definitely could be leaving, um, leaving an emotional relationship and kind of doing your own thing, whichever applies. What does Sagittarius need to know for the upcoming cycle? Okay. Ooh. We're getting a lot of twofers here. All right. Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Okay. Okay. Maybe giving a little too much of yourself, your time, your, your, this really comes to time or money for me. Um, I feel like it's it's unbalanced. You have to be a little bit more careful in how generous you're being because otherwise you end up bearing the load. You end up being buried and carried, buried, Freudian slip, spiritual Freudian slip, buried, um, buried with somebody else's work, you know, like you're just buried in paperwork or uh, what I meant to say was burdened, um, burdened with, <clears throat> burdened with somebody else's BS, somebody else's drama. Um, that's what can happen. And I, th these two cards came out together for somebody else too. Um, can't remember right now, but it, it's just be careful of how much you're giving because you can give too much to where the point where people just start piling crap on you. And <clears throat> maybe that's why you're leaving this situation. <clears throat> Sorry, everybody's getting over a cold and I, I just can't stop coughing. All right. What else? Uh, what else? Okay. Thank you. What else? What else? I'm just going to say what else. The Empress. The Empress. Okay, perfect. So, again, I feel like this is kind of that. It's the same where we had the leaving a situation for something better for that's more in line with you. Um, I feel like you're giving a little bit too much, feeling burdened by it all. And that's kind of, again, the situation that you're coming away from and heading to a place where you take better care of yourself. This is self-care. This is um, this is being more nurturing. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be for yourself. You can be more nurturing to others. Um, it's where you feel like you're in a place that you can give without taking away from yourself. Okay. That's what I'm, that's what I'm seeing going on here. You're definitely, uh, I feel like leaving, leaving some burden behind and moving into a place 
where you feel a little bit more content and more um, in alignment with what you want out of life. Do we have any advice for Sagittarius? Any advice for Sagittarius? Justice. Okay, <laughs> right underneath these. Okay. Again, these scales being unbalanced, giving a little bit too much. Okay, then we have justice. Balance in the same direction. Okay, a again, I feel like the advice here is being careful, being mindful of giving too much because you, you, you got to make sure that things are balanced, making sure that you're getting as much as you're giving here. Okay, do we have any other advice? Any other advice for Sagittarius? I feel like you already know this, you know, like, yeah, I know, I know I give too much. I know, I know that I end up carrying other people's weight, you know, and I know I should take better care of myself, but how? So how? How? Hmm. There we go. Oh, you might need some help. There might be some help coming in for you. Um, it could also be speeded up, you know, like you're, maybe you're dragging your feet. I mean, dragging your feet on leaving this burden behind. Um, then it's kind of saying, you know, pick up the pace. We need to move this along <laughs> a little bit. Um, definitely, this is a fast-paced kind of, um, you know, fast. I, I, get, I get fast talker used car salesman from this, right? I, that's kind of what I get is like, this is the, the knights in this deck are kind of funny for me. This is the used car salesman for me. The, um, the knight of cups is, um, like the high school jock. I don't know. I don't know why that's just the vibe I get. This is like the, the smooth talker, fast talker, used car salesman vibe. Like <sighs> speak now or forever hold your peace. Uh, act now, act now, you know, this deal is ending kind of vibe. I, I, so I feel like, you know, act now, act now, this deal is ending. Like there's a deal out there for you and it's ending if you don't act now. Uh, but yeah, I feel like taking, taking some action, taking action to move yourself away from the situation because you, when you move away from the situation, you are moving toward yourself. You are more moving toward a better place for yourself. You are moving toward, um, more, um, feeling more in alignment with who you're, who you want to be, who, what do you want out of life? Um, but there's, there's an action to take. Okay. There's an action to take act now. And then we have the three of wands, which is kind of not really acting. So, you know, Hmm. Oh, okay. They're facing away from each other. We got another one. Haha. -ha. Okay. <clears throat> goodness um they're facing away from each other okay so i didn't like act now but wait <laughs> but wait there's more oh my god why do i get tv commercials for messages um get act now this deal ends in 20 minutes and then but wait there's more then we have the five of swords okay the five of swords is is kind of defeat who is the defeated are, are you being defeated or are you the defeat tour right um i feel like there is an action to take but you you need to you need to wait just a little bit longer taking action i'm getting the sense that like you'll know you'll know when when it's time to strike you're, you're, you are the defeat tour i feel like um this is you defeating something that you're not comfortable with that you feel like you've put in effort and you're not getting anything out of it your 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 return on investment is not what you expected it to be there is definitely an action to take but i feel like it's waiting for the right time to strike um uh, strike while the iron is hot i'm hearing um but it, it's it's uh, watching for the sign there's a sign I'm going to get a different deck here. Clarify what to wait for before taking action, please. What are we waiting for to take action? I'm hearing you'll know when you know. How do we know when to take action? How will Sagittarius know when to take action? Okay. Whoa. All right. 
That's what I like to see. Okay, so we have the wise one. Oh, goodness. We have the wise one, which is the hermit. This is um, solitude. This is really about you uh, digging deeper within um, and not really all of the ex external aside for now. And I feel like that's what this is trying to say is not dealing with that, that, you know, just kind of, can you got, it's time to turn your back. Ooh, yeah. With that first card, turn your back, turning your back a little bit. When you turn your back, we have the page of rods. The page of rods is, um, kind of a messenger. It's rods or wands. Um, it's rods in this deck, but wands are, uh, spiritual. It, it represents to me your, your spiritual body, your spiritual side of yourself. Um, and the page being a messenger. So I really feel like there's, <sighs> you'll know when you know. Okay. So when I was shuffling and I said, I heard, you know, you'll know when you know it's this, this is going in internal, right? This is internal, um, taking a journey away from reality, away from the day-to-day -day BS and drama. Um, there is a message. This is a spirit message. So you'll know when you know, I know, and you're, you can rip me a new one in the comments, but you'll know when you know, there, the message will come from spirit when, um, when the time is right. Um, uh, and you'll know when you know, <laughs> so there's really, we're not going to give you any more information than that. We're going to give you, there is something coming. <sighs> there's a lot of memes about this. There is something coming. It's going to change your life. You're going to win. Don't do anything until you see the sign. What's the sign? You'll know. You'll know. So <laughs> that's what I have for you for the beginning of this new moon cycle. This uh, this moon in Sagittarius. Happy birthday. You'll know when you know. Sorry. Um, but that's what Spirit's giving us. So we'll take it and we'll run with it. And we will take better care of ourselves. We will take action when we know the time is right. We will get a sign and we will take action on that. So keep an eye out for opportunities. Be open to whatever comes your way. Um, and just, you know, when you're looking for the opportunity, you'll see it. Okay, so keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open and take care of yourself. I keep coming back to that Empress card. Take good care of yourself. Be, you know, forgiving of yourself. Ooh, yes. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for carrying another person's load. Forgive yourself for allowing yourself to be burdened by other people. Okay, so that's that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing the rest of your cycle play out in the full moon reading. So if you want to make sure you don't miss that, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications. I will see you in the next video. As always, have a blessed day.